The unit is empty. The bus is here. And it's time for me to talk to a camera in random cities once again. Hello. Hello. Here we are. Here we are. And resume positions. <laughs> <laughs> Back on the bus. Back with this fucking camera in my hand. How much butter do we have, Phil? How much butter? Should we have a butter count? There's no butter connoisseurs. <laughs> oh, you're joking. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a minute. We'll add, add, to, the count. We'll add that to the... We brought the quality, the fucking Nord pack. Well, Nord pack's <laughs> not the quality. Nord pack. No. It's all right, Nord oh, no. pack. No, they don't stack three high. Fucking butter mad round here, innit? It's Tuesday night on uh, the 16th of November and uh, we're, we're heading to Brighton tomorrow for the first show of this tour. You can see, there we go. Boom. If, if, if you're joining us from the, from the tour diaries that we did on our headline tour from uh, September, Gosh. you may reckon this may look very familiar because mm. it is indeed the exact same bus. Yep. Not, not the same, like, Brand or whatever you call it, make a conversion, make a bus. It's uh, it's literally the same bus with the same exactly driver, same bus. Same driver isn't with it? Paul. Oh. S smells a bit fresh, fresher than when we got off it, but we'll soon remedy that. So, here we are, first day of the tour. You might be wondering why am I presenting the first day of the tour? Well, that's because on the way down to Brighton, we've made a very special stop which is very, very close to my heart. Behind me is a building which, for my rock and roll. Rock and roll life has been an absolute cornerstone in my sound, my tone, and uh, I just realised probably won't be able to see it now because the sun's being a bit of a dick. But I'm going to keep walking and keep chatting shit right now until I can get to about here. And I'm about to turn this around and hopefully, hopefully you'll see what I mean by this. Of oh yeah, we've got a lovely. Uh, tour booked around the factory, uh, meeting up with one of the guys here called Joel, a uh, great guy, I've talked to him a few times over e email and over Instagram and stuff, but yeah, look forward to finally meeting the man in person and uh, getting to look at where all these iconic amps are built and this is where all mine were built over 40 years ago. And there's the bus, back with the bus again, it feels amazing, Feel, feels good to be back out on tour. Kind of like trying to get in one of every amp here, everything works, everything from the number one. This is the very first Marshall amp here. These guys were living. Just doing everything to me right now. <laughs> I'm glad I wore my Kevlar pants. Yeah, they've got some If you could take one away, what, which one would it be? Oh, well, that, that, that road says. Randy? That's one of our Phil. Marshall 200 pig. Is this the, that's a 200 watt, yeah. is it? <laughs> the old turret board. <laughs> and the earlier kind of style PCBs. With the surface, um, with the through hole components, and then we get onto the more modern ones. That is cool. That's, that's, that's nice. Any pedal fans out there? These radical designs that just don't go anywhere, do they? And they always go back to just that. the same style, don't they? Yep, Anne knows what's up. <laughs> I always thought she used Engel. <laughs> Glen Goyne. Nice work, it's a good whiskey. And of course, Guns N' Roses are playing. <laughs> Sorry, you? Yeah, I know. Yeah, Marshall also distribute uh, drums under the company name of Natal. I'm going to go and have a look at a few of them now. 